You know what God did for you so that you wouldn't have to go to hell? No. Do you know what God did for you so that you wouldn't have to go to hell? No. I mean, what is the supreme object of the church? What on earth is the church doing here on earth? Do you know what God did for you so that you wouldn't have to go to hell? No. The Son of Man has come to seek and save that which is lost. And if we're Christians, if we are followers of Jesus Christ, we should be walking in His steps. Do you know what God did for you so that you wouldn't have to go to hell? No. Saints, the body of Christ is not a pleasure cruiser on its way to heaven. It's a battleship stationed at the very gates of hell. Do you know what God did for you so that you wouldn't have to go to hell? No. So 2,000 years ago, God came in the form of a man, Jesus Christ, and he lived a life on earth, sinless, and he gave himself for you. You broke God's law, and Jesus paid your fine. Jesus died on the cross for your sins, and God raised him from the dead. And if all you have to do to be saved from justice, from going to hell, is believe what Jesus did on the cross for you, and that God raised him from the dead, and trust in that, and then say thank you, and I'm going to start living for him. I'm not going to steal anymore. I'm not going to lie anymore. I'm not going to go in a closed room and look at pornography because I want to honor God because of what he did for me. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So when are you going to put your trust in Jesus, man? Today. <laughs> that's a big deal, man. All right, well, that's awesome, okay? We're going we're gonna to pray with you? Is that cool? Can I do that? Sure. All right, sweet, man. So when are you going to put your trust in Jesus once and for all? Today. Today? Like right, like right now? Yeah. Awesome. Well, can I pray with you? Is that okay? Yeah. And I cannot put into words the feeling I have for God, so I put into works and say, oh, God, let me burn for you.